One of those southern plants you'll see throughout the state of Louisiana is this plant right here. It's called the sago palm. Now, to be honest with you, this is not a true palm. It's not even distantly related to the palm trees. Those are flowering plants. This is a cycad. It's related to pine trees, bald cypresses, and other conifers and other members of the gymnosperm group. And you can see that here in this female reproductive structure. This is the female cone that female sago palms produce. They do separate the sexes so that there are male sagos and there are female sagos. This is a female. There are two points I'd like to make about these sago palms today. First off, focusing on this female cone, if you have a female sago palm and her, she looks like this right now, this is the reproductive phase and the ultimate result are these large seeds covered with this sort of fleshy red covering. Now I want you to be very careful with these. These are very, very toxic to dogs. Dogs will chew on these seeds. They may drop to the ground and for some reason dogs love to eat them. One or two seeds is enough to kill a pet. So with these plants, when you see them go to seed like this, gather up all the seeds, put them in a bag, and throw them away to help save dogs and prevent poisonings. The others, these plants were damaged by cold this winter, and this wasn't too bad, but there are a lot of sagos out there that have totally brown fronds. Well, just reach in with your pruners and cut them off back close to the trunk. Remove all of the unattractive old leaves or brown leaves. They'll come up with lots of fresh new leaves in the spring and early summer. Forget it growing, I'm Dan Gill with the LSU Ag Center.